Grand Rising Bag family. Back with another video. The start of another day. Today uh, is the aftermath of a heavy rain that we had last night. And of my eight to ten women that work out here, one showed up. So, uh, guys, uh, here you can see why we have a dilemma when it comes to building uh, prosperity amongst ourselves. It seems like um, when it comes to working for ourselves, you know, we have issues, you know, uh, a free lunch, so to say. None of the guys have showed up now. Work starts at nine and we don't work a full eight hours. As you guys already know, we don't work a full eight hours yet. That's my goal, a full eight hours. We work anywhere from four to five hours, possibly six. You know what I'm saying? Depending on if it's a prayer day or not. These are watermelons that I'm showing, by the way. Anyway, yeah, none of the guys have showed up, so here's why I'm totally dependent upon getting um, equipment. I won't be that reliant on manual labor, because as you can see right now in the video, it's not a holiday going on. Where's the workforce? And it appears that above average uh, pay rate still is not a motivating factor. So it's okay. It's okay. We've dealt with challenges before and we'll deal with this one here too. Now maybe they're running late. You know, we spent the night out here last night so we don't know what the road conditions look like coming here but I do know that that one sister she made it here so I'm going to go and, and, and let her know that uh, um, she's welcome to work the full day if she chose but if she uh, elects not to work because her peers didn't show up then she's free to go so anyway um I don't quite know what's going on right now. I've asked Sweet Juicy Mama to tell her to pick some weeds if she desires to stay. And Sweet Juicy Mama elected to say, well, she's not going to understand me. Meaning I should go over there where she don't understand me either. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. So let me get on back over here and fill up these uh, water barrels. In the event that the fence makers show up today, if they show up today, then they can go ahead and start this uh, last leg of the fence, which is coming from that pillar, coming from that pillar right there, all the way straight down this line right here to that pillar down there, which is an estimated 125 meters. So... You know, it's, 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 I heard someone once say it's hard doing, it's hard doing awesome things with basic people. And, uh, you know, I echo the sentiment, you know, uh, when you come out here, you put out the work instructions and people could, you know, could care less, but you know, it is what it is, you know. We'll just keep on pushing forward. Just keep on pushing. All right, then. Just thought I'd let you know what's going on out here today. At Black Acres of the Gambia. Oh, boy. Dude, this water is low right here. The pressure is low. It's probably because we got multiple... Lines open down there. Well, hey guys, I spoke too soon. Now, see, 
two more lady workers coming in and one guy worker. So there's two ladies. And where's the brother? Anyway, um, if you see a change of work crews, you know what I'm saying? Uh, understand, hey, we give you the opportunity to demonstrate your skills and earn an above um, average wage. If you elect not to take advantage of that, then we got to uh, swap you out, show you to the gate, bring somebody else in that uh, desires to um, earn above average wage. So we do have some more workers in now. So we got a total of four today out of maybe 15 you know, and we do have a um, guy back there at the 4,000 square foot house. He's working with Sunshine. He came early this morning, brought us some mangoes. Man, nice guy. Brought us some mangoes. And he's back there working on uh, the suckerways, which are almost complete. Almost complete. So anyway, let's see how the day turns out. Raheem says he ain't coming out here today until 11. He took the weekend off. James, no comment. Kiki, entertaining her friend from America. Nadia, no comment. All right. Keep on pushing. Love you, bag family. Bye. Grand Rising Bag Family. Welcome back for another video of Black Acres of the Gambia. Continuing the saga of trying to erect this security fence, the newest crew that we have out here are making their way around the bend. And I can attest that the blocks are a lot stronger than the initial blocks that the guys kind of bamboozled us on. They were making like 36 blocks out of one bag of cement. Ratio is just absurd. These right here were using 25 blocks from every bag of cement. And they're a lot stronger. I did the drop test and they're good. And by the way, I got to show y'all the drop test. You know, it's about waist high and I drop it and see if it crumbles. But anyway, it's coming along good. Now, I mean, they've closed off the front sector of the fence. Now, it's going to be like 11 course high. So just right one, two, three, four, five, six, five more course high. And of course, we're going to lay some uh, pillars or rebob um, perpendicular to the um, pillars right here. So we got a pillars right here that's going to go vertical and then we're going to have some pillars that's going to go horizontal. So anyway, the dogs out here having fun. Now this bad boy, this is a uh, cut here and man, fleas are or ticks are all over her. And there's Funny Face, the notorious cow chaser. So anyway, what the guys did was they chipped up the inferior block that was down there. And there it is right there. And we're gonna use that right there on the roads coming in the bag because we are in the rainy season and we're a little bit behind schedule. And I'm not gonna elaborate on that. I'll go into that. Uh, more in detail at a later video but right now it does seem like we're back on schedule as far as resuming work so anyway see all these blocks right here they're going to be on the road coming into bag because we already see some trouble spots so uh, when the work crews come in again tomorrow we're going to put all these on the back of the 16 foot trailer and uh Lay them out there on the road in preparation for uh, continuing work during rainy season. 
You know what I'm saying? So look at the guys all in there having fun. Hey, guys. Great job on keeping the cows out of here, funny face. Cut just, I don't know. She just out here for the vacation to menace people. So here we go. Got some more blocks here. And you see three piles of sand right there. We want to make more blocks all the way down there to that pillar. If you can see it all the way down there. Can you see that pillar right there? Let's try to close up that pillar. That pillar right there. We're going to make the blocks all the way down to there. Because that goes into an expansion area. So anyway, that's what's, what's going on with our security fence, guys. The guys are working, I think, Saturday and Sunday to get it done. So hopefully we can have this fence uh, to that pillar down there that I just showed you. Yay high. Have a course high all the way around. And hooked up that entrance where we can control access in and out and make it a little bit more secure than it is now. So we'll be on the lookout for a welder man who does good work, who can give us a secure fence similar to the one that they have at Q City. And that's a special shout out to Q City. They're doing some awesome things here in the Gambia. You know, we want to do something like that, only bigger. All right. Ain't nothing personal, just business. All right, bag family. Later. All right, guys, this is the fence, the, the, the first or the primary entrance spot for bag. After we get through with it, we'll have about four entry spots into bag to facilitate easy entrance and exit traffic coming from bag. So this will be the first or the primary entrance right here. And even though it seems like a one lane road, when we carved this out from the Belgian man house down there, um, we carved out a four meter road, but everybody wants to drive on the same lane, but excuse me, an eight meter road. This is an eight meter road just like the eight meter road all the way around um, bag. We want traffic to be able to come in and out of here as smooth as possible. We just got to connect it to the main junction. So anyway, uh, this is an eight meter wide road right here. And this is the, the entrance gate right here. And so, like I said, we want that sliding gate. And don't quote me, but I think the height or the the dimensions are two meter high and maybe uh, it's a double gate and I think it's eight meter wide two meters two meter height eight meters wide and there'll be like a roller down here somewhere where you can slide the gate one way and allow vehicle traffic to come through and also there'll be like a little passenger gate where people can just walk through uh, the passenger gate versus opening it all the way up for a vehicle. That's the way I got it visualized right now, and that's subject to change just like everything else, but that's the, the, the vision that I have in my mind, okay? So, traffic will come through here. Be a big sign on the door or number where you can call. You know what I'm saying? Just in case uh, somebody's not at the gate. So, anyway... When you come through the gate, this is what you'll see right here, the security house. And that bad boy be manned 24-7, supervisor, walkie-talkies, yada yada, and a crew that uh, gets the job done. All right. So let me walk on back here and take a look at what the guys did today. Uh, but anyway... We finally got that door up there. That's a double door. We got it painted, of course, as well as these um, ventilation blocks that we call them. So now when you come in or when somebody's coming through the, the gate or peeking over the wall, you can't tell what's going on inside there. You see what I'm saying? And that's the way we like it. Secure. Now, it's not my best work. 
designing this security house, guys. But you know, you got to start uh, somewhere. So this is the first building that I've ever built. And to all my criticizers that say it's trash and all that stuff, show me what you've built. Show me what you've built. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, this is our first security house. We have others, four, four of them to be precise. And they'll get better and better and better and stuff, okay? So anyway, let me go on back there and take a look at the house and stuff, all right? Let me zoom on out right quick. It's getting it so far.